everyone thank you very much for joining me today today's reading is going to be are you compatible with them or is your energy compatible with their energy you have got three piles you've got the lovers pile number one nine of spray cans which is nine of swords and you have got the five of stencils for pile number i'll show you the cards actually pile number three this is pile number one nice pile number two naughty Pile number three, nice colours. Okay, so if you want to make your choice, I'll sort of straighten them up for you. There you go. <laughs> Okay, pan number one. I'm just going to go through it bit by bit and peel it out, hopefully, so that it makes some sense to you. So, is your energy compatible with theirs? Their energy is coming up, and there's lovers between the pair of you to start off with. So, I mean, that's just a nice card, though, isn't it? But there's some, I guess, some sort of mutual exchange of energy here. But there's, I'm guessing, a feeling of fear, which I think is coming more from you. You've got the Ace of Cups and Ceres for them. So this has a very nurturing quality, somebody who gives quite freely and who falls in love quite easily. And somebody who's probably not afraid to express it. Somebody who is there, in some case, maybe you'd refer to this as somebody who's got your back. It's somebody who cares about people and probably cares about how you feel and how they affect you. Their thoughts towards you seem quite passionate because you've got the Ace of Cups and you've got the um, eight, of, eight of Wands here. So I wonder whether they have already expressed their feelings towards you and it's very open, it's very easy and it, I guess it came across quite sweet in some sort of sweet way. You almost, almost like I can't speak, you almost expect to see the, um, the Knight of Cups here as well. Because it feels like somebody's come forward with a confession or you know that they like you. Which I'm guessing your thoughts are, <laughs> your thoughts possibly could be either just, you're either the kids in glee here or you're either thinking of marriage. I know that is um, really a real far-fetched thing, but it feels like this person makes you feel, they're coming across as Ceres and Ace of Cups and you're coming across as the Ten of Cups. There's something in the way that this person expresses themselves or the way that they make you feel that makes you feel whole in some way, emotionally complete, or they have the capability to make you feel good about life in a more complete way rather than just that you look good and, you know they make you feel like you look good there's something more to it than that their feelings towards you seem i guess quite mature you've got the temperance card for feelings here you've got the Ceres and the ace of cups and the lovers this person feels like they are and I've said this in many readings before, much loved. It feels like they're not afraid to show their emotions. They're not afraid to put their neck on the line because they don't see it as anything. There's nothing fearful about it. It makes me think of my, my son. Um, I always feel bad giving examples of family, but this is the only only way I can bring it to life in my head so I'm not just reading from, you know, like a book I remember from 20 years ago that, some people just give out love and expect to be loved easily. And that is the difference between my daughter probably tiptoes and looks, not so much looks, but she doesn't expect to be loved. Um, and then my son, for some reason, he was born like that. He was born smiling. It just expects to be, your person expects to be loved, expects love to be good, expects to be able to give emotions and accept them back. There's an ease here, there's a, there's a comfort with expression and receiving, but they're not doing anything about it. You're coming across as the Eight of Cups of Mercury, so I wonder whether there's some sort of fear in the past of a relationship that might have ending with a Mercury here. It might be mental processes that need some uh, excuse me, adjustment. 
So the energy here is slightly different. Your person's quite at ease with themselves. It makes me think of somebody, as I was saying, my son, somebody with Leo in them that expects people, they, you know, they think that life's a performance and they're the centre of it. <laughs> Fantastic. But you're coming across as Eight of Cups here and Mercury. I'm thinking mental processes here. I'm thinking of situations that have ended and you possibly have outgrown, but with Mercury there, I'm wondering whether it still plays on your mind and whether you feel the fear of that happening again. Maybe why your feelings are slightly... Um, bruised in some way because you've got the eight of cups here and you have got this card here for your feelings which is a fight that may have happened that you still feel slightly defensive about but you are more ready to act than them which is unusual you seem as if you're more reticent with your energy your person feels as if they give easily but is wondering whether you are both on the same level, I think, here. So are your energies compatible? Without looking at the centre cards here with what's going on between the pair of you, your person loves, is attracted to you, feels loved towards you, feels like there's, they've got a lot to give. No question about that. But the actions are wondering, I guess, because you've got the two swords as if they don't really know what to do. You're the one that's probably more... Um, fearful of the relationship possibly through some things that have happened in the past where you've actually got the eight of cups here and the nine of um wands although the attraction is there and this person makes you feel nurtured you want to move forward with it but i wonder whether your person with regards to energy is sensing that you may be holding something back they may know what it is probably with the serez there there's an there's a feeling of allowing you to be that but they're almost like waiting for you to i guess here to come forward and do some it makes me think of two people where this person possibly is very warm and very open with you and you're watching you're watching and wondering whether it's um whether they really feel it or whether they're like that with anybody that type of feeling what's going on between you is yeah watching <laughs> the nine of wands Again, it's like defensive watching. There's like confusion here with the Seven of Cups of, as I said earlier, you know, do they like me or have they, you know, have they got time for me? Are they like this with everybody else? And then there's some sort of conflict here. So this to me feels like two people that may not be together um, that have feelings for each other. With regards to is your energy compatible with theirs? You have the ability to give as freely as them, which you may have done so in the past, but in some way your mental processes are causing you to be guarded. But you, and you've got this for action, which is basically giving of emotions, joyous emotions, celebration of your emotions, and they're coming across as giving emotions easily, but you're incompatible with regards to what actions you're taking, but compatible with regards to what you need to give. This person feels like they could open you up in some way. So the compatibility is there because you've both got the ability. You both need a nurturing relationship. You both need to be cared for in some way. There's a sweetness and there's a gentleness about this pile. But I'm feeling here that um, you're not giving much to your person even though you feel it. Because these cards in the centre, to me, are almost like reiterating the seven of wands here, where you're feeling like, I'm not going to show this person until I'm sure. And your person's like, oh, no, hold on, come on, I've been waiting long enough. I've shown you, it's your turn. So it feels like a an intentional game playing going on here between the pair of you. It feels like it's a bit sort, it feels like it's stuck. It feels like it's stuck through one trying to see what the other one's doing. But yet your energies are compatible um, with regards to personalities, but you're in different processes in your life where I think that you may have been through more than this person and you're almost wary where it's not part of your basic nature with this cup here with your thoughts and this um, these cups here with your actions. You want to do it, 
but you're like, oh my God, it's stick your neck on the line. It's like, I'm not saying that to you in a bossy way, but just feel like you've got to stick your neck on the line and you're wary about it. So to sum up pile number one, are your energies compatible? You both feel as if emotions are an important part of a relationship. This person gives very freely. I think you possibly give very freely too, but you're more defensive than them. It possibly could be something from childhood. I don't know. You know, some people just don't. You're more wary. Or it may be something that's tripped you up somewhere along your life that keeps your feelings in a little bit longer than most. But you both have um, cup because your person just feels very easy, easy breezy here. But um, I guess with regards to your compatibility here, your person's not giving anything because they expect more from you because they give it. So they're not really understanding why you're not expressing yourself more, I guess. But you want to do it. It's a case of, are you going to? Because these cards here say it's difficult. So I'm, I'm guessing it's difficult with you to express yourself to this person. So compatibility, yes, basic nature, no in the situation or the um, the relationship at the moment is not compatible because of inequalities in regards to expressing your feelings and they're waiting for you, I guess. Right, pile number one, I hope that helps. I'm going to leave that there. Um, there's a real, so before I go, I'm just going to say there's a real feeling here with regards to you and being compatible it is accepting that this person's attracted to you and just, you know, enjoying it. Not overthinking, just being. Because, you know, that's what you want to do. It's just a case of just enjoy it. Okay, pile number one, I'm going to leave you there. Thank you. Bye. Okay, pile number two is is your energy and excuse me is your energy compatible with theirs my first feelings are with regards to use the situation that you the person watching is going through the mill a bit and it feels quite difficult your person is i guess not moving a lot but the attractions there that your energy matches and the fact that you do a lot of thinking and you're both quite passionate um, but I feel there's not much going on between the pair of you and I feel that it's causing you more upset than them. It feels like they're quite happy with the way that there's maybe not much action but they're happy with the fact that they feel for you and that's it. That's fine. It's, that's what they think. You've got the Nine of Spray Cans here which is the Nine of Swords and with this card in particular it feels like playing with fire and I wonder whether you know you are actually playing with fire with this relationship because you've got the Five of Wands for you, you've got the Tower card and then they've got the Shadow Self here as well. So let me sum up the piles and then I'll talk about the energy and whether it's compatible at the end. You're coming across as Pluto and the Five of Wands. So that to me thinks makes me think of quite a strong pull. It makes me think of this person feeds you in some way. This person makes you feel as if you don't want to be without them. But there's something that you don't like about that. The Five of Wands is the jagged, well, I could say jagged muffin then. What on earth is that? The jagged cactus. <laughs> I can't read it. It doesn't say cactus. It basically, it's this jagged thing. To me, it makes me think of jagged thoughts or jarring thoughts or just some something to do with your mind process that feels as if it's tethered in some way, pushed in different directions, feels uncomfortable, attraction, but don't know how you don't know how to deal with it. Your thoughts towards them, you know, there, there could have been something between you where, you know, your thoughts towards them, the tower card, either by being with this person disrupts your life in some way or this person has disruptive your, excuse me, disrupted, no, I can't say it, disruptive, disrupted your life recently. Okay, with the tower card there. They think everything's A-OK. -okay. This person likes to connect. This person's quite old-fashioned and they like a like a typical marriage type of relationship where there's, you know, there's just two people involved, they like each other and that's fine, but this person does a lot of, you've got Pluto here, they've got the shadow self, but you're both very similar in the fact that you like a passionate relationship, you like to feel attached and there's a lot of subversive actions and thoughts and feelings going on here on in this one between the pair of you. So yes, with regards to your energy, you're both very similar in that way.
this has like a Libra Scorpio feel to it. You know, somebody that likes a relationship, but somebody who likes the intense relationship and is prepared to play um, games until they actually think that the person measures up to where they want them to be. You're coming across as wanting the same, but in some way not totally enjoying the process. Their thoughts are, mm, lovely. <laughs> that's lovely ideal person i could have a really good time i could settle down with this person you've got Ju juno and the ten of ten of cups here to make make excuse me makes me think of a family relationship where everything feels just fine and you know there's kids outside skipping everything's you know just hunky-dory right to you and i don't know whether it's your life circumstance gets in the way here or there's some situation that makes you feel like being with this person is either losing your sense of control with pluto here or in a particular situation in your life that feels like it has to break up to be with this person their feelings towards you are let's go for it let's go for it let's do it your feelings are five of ones again i'd rather hit, my, hit myself over i'd rather poke my eyes out with cocktail sticks then actually express my feelings for some reason. There's, there's lots of different energy coming from you. And I wonder if there's hurt between the pair of you. Because the world card and the strength in the middle and the queen of cups, I wonder whether you've already expressed your feelings, whether you've given more in the past. This person's really happy with that. And you're thinking, you know, hold on, that's enough. If you don't start giving something back, I'm going to wrap this up. That type of feeling is a possibility. Because the world card and the strength, queen of cups, makes me think that somebody's giving emotions and I'm assuming this is from more from your side and this person's really enjoying it but you're like I'm not getting excuse me I'm not getting enough back <laughs> excuse me madam this person's actions look like they are just happy with themselves this is like this card here makes me think of um I remember living with some boys in Australia once. My brother went to New Zealand and disappeared. I was living with my brother and left me in Australia on my own and then sent everybody else back, all, his, all the backpackers that he met on the way to come and live with me. Oh, my God, it was awful. Um, but so they were very laddie lads, if you know what I mean. And they were, they were saying things like, oh, my favourite girlfriend was the one that used to cook dinner when I came home from watching rugby or what, watching football. I was like, you are, you are. This has this feeling of somebody who's really satisfied, not knowing that you may be dissatisfied. Because your actions are the moon. You don't know what to do with yourself. You don't know what to think. You don't know what to feel. You don't know where to go. It's like something's driving you slightly crazy here. Slightly mad. I feel, I just get a general feeling in regards to energy compatibility. I wonder whether you possibly, because you've got the five of ones twice, you may be more antagonistic in some way. You may be more fighty in some way. Um, you may need a bit of sparring to get the relationship going this person feels as if they need a strong pull and they feel that like they've expressed themselves to you and they're really happy and sat in it it's like a pig in muck this one and you're like well hold on i'm still confused i've not got anything back from you you've not called me for a long time what's going on I don't actually mean what I'm going to say here, but there may be something in the feeling here. But this has a feeling of Pluto with a five of wands twice of somebody that has a connection. There's always a slight anxiety underneath it. Because Pluto is like, um, it's like a strong feel that somehow, you know, people with very strong Pluto, you can't, they can't actually get enough of anything because it's an internal need that can't be filled by somebody else, only themselves. And then you've got the five of wands, which is quite, is, a feeling of sparring in some way. So that has an antagonistic feel. And I wonder whether you're somehow feeling a bit jagged towards them, a bit sort of, you haven't called, why haven't they called, da, 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 da. You know, this hasn't happened. And it feels like your life's gone to pieces and they're like, well, that's a nice person. I'm, what a nice relationship I've got. But I think deep down, is your energy compatible? This person, I think, deep down does know. You've got the shadow self and Juno here. This person may like a connection, but they 
they understand what it feels like to feel really connected to somebody and to feel like it's running away with you. And there's also a feeling here, which isn't answering the question yet with the strength in the world card here, whether this person is testing your metal in some way. Not in that they, they may not mean to do it, but there's something with the, the nine of spray cans up here, like playing with fire and you coming across as being, it being difficult for you that the strength card and the queen of cups and the world card here, it feels like it's always teetering on wrapping up this situation or thinking that it's ended, but then calling on your inner strength to still keep going. Really difficult um, energy between the pair of you to explain. It feels like you're learning more lessons than they are. They're not questioning themselves, you are. So in that way, your energy is incompatible in the fact that you might actually be good for each other, but you're not on the same level. You come across as slightly more anxious, they come across as more laid back. But saying that, I find a lot of people, you know, in couples tend to get one that's more easy going than the other. Because both on the same level, it's not going to be a good match, is it? This person, this person likes a strong connection. Pick back pan number one. You know, this person's at ease with themselves a little bit more. They think they've made some action. They think there's something going between the pair of you. There's attraction there. There's emotion. There's an emotional quality that to them feels really complete in some way. But with you, it's like, I'm confused. That's not enough. So pan number two, to sum this up, is your energy compatible with theirs? Your, I guess you have both a very strong need to be in relationships and a passionate relationship, an intense relationship. It's either, it's like, no great, it's got to be black or white to you, both. Um, I think that you suffer slightly more from anxiety in relationships than they do. They think everything's fine. You're almost fighting within yourself to wonder whether everything is okay. But I wonder whether you've made, with a tower card here, whether you've made... Um, or you may have to make more adjustments in your life to be with this person. Just different scenarios here. The fact that you've got the tower for thoughts, you know, do you have to give something up or do you feel like you're giving something up to show your affections or be with this person? Because you've got the world card here as well. So ending on situation to be with this person possibly. There's something in this though. Um that you come across as finding this more difficult, but at the end of the relationship, regardless of what happens, you possibly will feel like the stronger person because you're learning more in this one. I don't know. But it feels also, you know, these two cups are action cards here. To me, don't speak of much action. They're really happy with it. You're really confused by it. It's still emotions. One's like, yeah, hey, emotions. And one's like, what on earth's going on, emotions? So, the playing with fire makes me wonder whether somebody has to, as I've just said, give something up to get this relationship going. You know, it could be anything like um, one of you has to travel abroad or one of you is already in a relationship, has to give that up. Or one of you is waiting, you know, perhaps the end of a college course or something like that. I don't know what it is, but the tower card may be just eager. I don't know. So compatibility, excuse me, compatibility is they seem more at ease with themselves. They seem to need a very strong connection. You seem to be need a very strong connection, but there's something about you that feels like you have to change a lot to be with this person and it's causing you, I guess, quite... If you haven't got a normal anxious nature, this relationship may be causing you some anxiety due to the confusion. So incompatibility in drives and the strength of the drive. Incompatibility, I would say, regards to um, 
letting life be as it is, but I think that you possibly have more to lose with this connection going forward. And I don't know what that means, but the tower card there and a Pluto, life changes, I assume. Okay, I'm gonna stop there, pile number two, because my battery's flashing, unusually so, because I'm gonna just put it in. Okay, thank you, bye. <laughs>
something between you, I'll read these cards in a minute, where um, it's not correct time to act or they don't know where they stand with regards to you, but the energy in all the piles, this is you two are very, very similar, very, more so than any of the piles, the first two put together. You're the one that's more likely to act in this situation. I don't know whether there's distance between the pair of you or there's some inconsistencies with regard to communication with the hermit down here and the five of, or you may have even argued. You've got the five of wands here as well. So it wouldn't surprise me whether you two have had some sort of, you know, could have had some sort of fallout the world card with you there as well. This has a feeling of two people that could possibly, you know, you get that that the couple that drive the Land Rover and live in the middle of nowhere um, and don't need to talk to people unless they want to talk to people. It's that type of unusual feel about it, where people would see you together as the unusual couple that don't feel like you need to conform with the Uranus and the Mars. You're both not afraid. You're both not afraid of life. The Eight of Swords next to Uranus and the world next to Mars is you're not afraid to break through things or cut things off. Really brave pile. It feels as if the, the pile before there was a bit of conflict on the person who's having the reading on their side, this panel has a feeling that there's no conflict, it's steady, the situation is in somehow um, balanced in some way and it's just the way it is and you both accept it. The feelings, I guess, are this person feels, it's the type of person who walks down the street with you on their arm looking really pleased to show you off type of feeling because you've got here regards to feelings, it's the six of um, so six of wands, which is a feeling of victory, of finding something they're attracted to, being very attracted to them, being happy with that. It's straightforward. It's like, yeah, this person makes me feel good. This person looks good and that's it. There's no more, there's not a lot of like deep feelings, not sorry, deep feelings. There's not a lot of questioning of feelings here. It's just, this is what it is. Both of these powers are, this is what it is. And what they're going to do about it, I don't think anything because they're just fine with the situation as it is. What you're going to do about it, probably more so than them. There's more action coming from you. It's like there's a feeling here of a Mars, the Knight of Swords and the world here as if you want to know the truth. You want to know what this person feels, but your energies are very similar. I do think, you know, with Mar the Knight of Swords here with you regards to action and um, the world card and the hermit between the pair of you, you may possibly be not in a relationship with this person and they're just happy with the way it is because um, they've met you, they found you, they're attracted to you, but this person possibly doesn't need a conventional relationship. And I don't think you do either. There was also a feeling here that, as I said earlier, with the five of wands in the middle next to the world and these sort of like feisty feeling between the pair of you that, that you are you may be separated due to an argument. I've said this already. Um, and you may, <laughs> you may still want to be sorting something out here. This has a volatile feeling to it. where your person is more relaxed in it and you're relaxed with them, but you want more, you want to know answers, you want the truth. This person's not afraid to give it to you if you ask. Really interesting pile. This is the type of pile that you, you know, you see, that intrigues people. The pair of you probably intrigue people, I guess. Energies are compatible, yeah, without doubt. This power, without doubt. A real sort of eccentric, individualistic air about these, the you two. I don't know whether, with the Emperor card there, whether this person is in some sort of you know, whether it's a work situation and you admire them because they 
basically do what they want, say what they're going to do and then do it and don't care what people think with the Emperor card and these, this sort of um, Uranus card here. They see you as being a similar nature. Um, but maybe you're not expressing it here with these, you know, if it's a work situation, situation as well with thoughts here being very sort of steady. But you're more likely to make the first move than they are. Because maybe if it is a work situation or this person um, holds some position or the Emperor card there and the Justice card with regards to their actions is they're not going to do much about it because it would rock the boat and this person isn't afraid to rock the boat but it might be choosing time, choosing moment or Uranus is quite intelligent I, I assume that they would probably only do it if they... Um, they felt it was going to get them somewhere or it was going to serve a purpose in some way to, I'm going to say liberate them there, but I suppose I actually mean that there. They're not going to do it for the sake of it and get themselves into hot water unless it's going to go somewhere. Okay. I'm going to put, I don't say no care and I actually want to know more about this pass. I'm going to put a few more on, a few more on. You possibly, with the Hermit here and the World card, and my first being card pulled out being the Ten of Swords, you possibly could not be in contact with this person or a relationship that hasn't quite started, but you too feel your energies are very similar. There's a pull there because it feels like, you know, it feels like there's some kinship there or this person's part of your tribe, part of your group, part of your situation that just feels right, feels like home. You could work together again, I don't know. Your person feels brave, doesn't feel afraid, feels quite powerful in a way that is not is not afraid to live their life how they see fit rather than how society sees fit. And you've got a very similar feel here, fear here, feel here. I haven't watched this film for about 20 years, but there's a film called The Constant Garden. It's a fact I can't even remember it. I know it's got Rachel Weiss in it. And um Ralph Fiennes maybe is at a conference he's talking about I honestly don't remember this it could be something to do with pollutants or, or um, pesticides in um, in um, fertilizers yeah that's no yeah yeah that's it I think and Rachel Weiss is like a student and she's in the audience and she stands up and starts saying something to him like you know basically having a go and making him prove himself this may be incorrect it was a long time ago this has a similar sort of feel about it there's something about the fire or the ability to speak up for yourselves that is attractive between the pair of you that's where the energy is similar it's like you can both smell it and you both admire it and that's where the pull is I like I, I, this is my favorite pile <laughs> you shouldn't say that should you but it is because it's interesting because it's like people that aren't afraid and people that are very similar in their it just feels like you can get stuff done without having to conform and you don't care if you conform right I'm going to finish there so out of all the three piles pile number three don't tell the other two um your energy is extremely compatible because you are both very similar Right, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.